Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And um, does it really feel like a brand new video? I feel like we're back in time, back to United and Stormwind, where we're in a time where it feels like control has been killed. It's irrelevant again in Hearthstone. It is a strategy that is not really a thing. And uh, I'm gonna go into it. I think the Prince Renathal nerf has been detrimental to at least one archetype in the game, being control. We'll talk about it. And as always, if you enjoy our content on the channel, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, please drop a subscription but down below. Give the video a like. I'm gonna be announcing a giveaway, by the way, on Christmas day. I haven't forgot about hitting that 62K, so thank you guys for that. We have a new giveaway coming soon, and it's all to pump up the Zeddies, which are returning again. Third annual year-end award show, so stay tuned for that. There'll be some positivity because this video, at least for control players or players that enjoy more of a long style of Hearthstone, uh, it's looking kind of bleak. So yes, I made this post, my experiences watching Standard, playing Standard, looking at the stats, very reminiscent of Stormwind. It's not that bad. I feel like you don't have something like the Demon Seed or the Mage Quest that just outright like was like hyper killing you. But uh, as noted by uh, TikTok here, a pro player, um, every single game being over by turn six isn't the most fun experience. Honestly, we have Soddle with the uh, play magic. There's always a turn seven. Marvel snap reference, because that card can extend games to turn seven. But yeah, it's feeling that way. Like Hearthstone games are over really fast. And that's because of the Prince Renathal nerf primarily. Balance wise, if you look at Hearthstone, if you don't like playing Warrior and Priest, it looks pretty good. Every class is relatively competitive across all ranks, of course, with Death Knight being positive for the first time ever. But if you take a deep dive into the meta, that's where things just look really bleak. Taking a look, this is legend rank since the latest patch. Um, you look at all the top performing archetypes, it's all very, very aggressive. Aggro Mage, a whole new archetype has popped up as like one of the best decks. If you don't know what it is, maybe I'll highlight it, but it just plays a bunch of dumb little crappers, ghost face, and you got like Deathborn to kill off your own stuff and just burn your opponent out. It's very aggressive. It's quite absurd, but it seems to be doing really well. Shock Spitter Hunter is back, where you kill your opponent with Shock Spitters from in hand consistently by like turn six and seven. Uh, so that whole thing's back. Curse Imp Warlock, it never left. Beast Hunter is the first non-aggro deck on here. More of that mid-range strategy. It's a pretty cool one. Seems to be doing okay still. A spell Demon Hunter, still really good. Uh, even with the Relic nerf, not an aggro deck, but more of like, you know, that combo-ish style deck. Pure Paladin, this isn't the control variant. This is more of an aggro style where you're just playing a lot of early game and then it's just trying to cheat out stuff in the late game. So again, a more aggressive strategy, big spell mage, scam style stuff. You got Frost Death Knight, keeps moving up, so that's good to see, but it's a burn deck. Evolve Shaman, mid range style. You see what I'm getting at, right? Like it's not the control style, the value style. Um, those decks with Renathal help keep alive. Well, if you wanna find them, the first control deck you will find on this list is all the way down in tier four. We've got our Blood Death Knight, our Control Paladin, our Quest Priests, our Plague Priests. They're all in the negative, doing well, uh, doing terribly and getting worse day by day. Top 1000 Legend, it doesn't look much better for Control with the top performing deck tier three, Control Paladin at 46%. So yeah, we're again at the point where the games have gotten super fast. Everything is very aggressive and it's like we're back in Stormwind in the regard that if you're a control player, you like playing those late game strategies, Hearthstone is going to be a struggle for you. At lower ranks, it probably isn't as bad. We'll take a look at a Diamond Through Legend. Let's see how Control is doing here. It, it, it's, it's basically just as bad. Um, let, let's take a look. Let's go all the way down. Let's go all the way down to like gold. Can Control work at gold? Blood Death Knight rock in the 49%. So Blood Death Knight at gold seems to be kind of serviceable with all the hyper crazy aggro going around. But yeah, it's just like, it's really really bummed me out that by effectively nerfing Renathal, we have reverted back to basically deleting an archetype. Uh, there's no card you could nerf. Like if you take a look at the best cards, the most popular cards in the game, like Astalor in 54% of decks. So 
I know well, that's probably going to be getting nerfed at some point. I don't even think the card's a problem. It's just a really good card, so it goes into a lot of decks. But Renathal already down to 27%. It was at like near 60 not very long ago, obviously before the nerfs and Denathrius and all of that. But yeah, like what, what card would you delete from the game that would make aggro unplayable? Nothing. What about mid-range? No, you can make certain decks bad, but Renathal was like the one thing to kind of like, you know, bridge the gap to a late game strategies to deal with all this crazy over the top power creep and aggression mana cheat and now when you take renathal away you take that five health you take that buffer away those late game decks just never have a chance to stabilize it's just when especially when aggro just like it's unlimited card draw mid range is unlimited card draw it, it, it's just it's sad it makes me sad funny enough i don't consider myself a control player at heart my favorite decks are mostly combo and burn uh dr boom control warrior is one of my favorite things but i just like to be able to you know be able to play those strategies i know there's people that love playing them period and the fact that it's at this point again where they're being hit really sucks same does go for wild too i don't have the specific stats on hand but uh hearing from people like corbett and other players it's basically devolved back to pirate rogue secret Man uh even shaman basically no reno deck is really playable none of the late game strategies again are all that viable we're just kind of back to like like almost a year ago style of decks basically the only major change compared to that is secret mage and even shaman got more support throughout the year but basically it's really aggressive and wild i guess it keeps quest mage at bay it keeps people like me that play quest mage away because it's like unplayable into that so that's a positive honestly that is but overall it's like wild again is in that same spot that Renathal was like that band-aid that was dealing with this power creep problem and it, it, it's just it's gone and I think the saddest thing to do is like take a look at Vicious Syndicate's uh, data reaper report from just before just before these nerfs right before Renathal got nerfed you take a look at tier one and two like Renathal got like basically killed right take a look at the tier one through four top 1000 legend here how many Renathal decks you can even find like in the top tier one you had one in quest priest that was it in tier two you had thief rogue which is just 30 card now it's like the same deck but 30 card now um and i think that's it beast hunter and big spell mage and plague priest so you have like half of it in tier two and then tier three you had um ramp druid you had i think control paladin may have run it frost control death knight was running it flood control death knight was running it and maybe dragon paladin so again like half the deck so like it wasn't like renathal was uber dominant it was just present it was a valid strategy and now they just deleted that and as funny as it is if you read the notes for the the whole nerf and all of that the dev comment said here to open the meta back up but at the same time they've made it a lot less open the flexibility is gone the 40 card decks you can't really do all these different things because every renathal deck was a lot different for the most part and now we just have a lot of aggro a lot of combo a lot of burn some scam but they just basically in so far have completely removed an archetype and a whole deck style from the game it doesn't really open the meta back up it just makes it a lot faster and yeah the games are a lot faster it's feeling very marvel snappish and i don't feel like that's where you should be going because the people that want to play marvel snap they're kind of already playing it and i don't think you're going to convince them to come over and play your game by making it faster so i don't know where it goes from here i don't know if they give some control buffs like warrior got nothing which doesn't help that's a control class got literally nothing in the balance patch i know there's going to be a very significant patch early january that we haven't had the first major patch these have all been hot fixes so i expect more changes and i really really hope first they reconsider reverting this which i'm sure they won't but second give control throw them some life support right now we got like nothing right now and uh, i think it would be very helpful so let me know how you guys are feeling about the meta do you think control is dead or are my stats that i'm looking at wrong and all of that and if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends